Hey guys, what's up? It's Sunil. So some of you guys know that I didn't upload last week and some of you may know or may not know that that was because I had an audition for a college and I thought today I would talk about my experience and stuff, um, especially uh, to the one, to the people that, you know, come upon this video and do decide to audition for AMDA, that's the school I auditioned for. Uh, which is the AMDA short for the American Musical and Dramatic Academy. That is hard to remember. But today I basically just want to talk about my experience and I mean, I guess give tips or something. I don't know. Um, but I don't know if I got in yet or not. It only happened about a week ago. Uh, it happened on Saturday, October 3rd. So yeah, let's get started. So the major that I want to want to do is acting and for the acting audition you have to come up with two contrasting monologues so it either could be uh, dramatic or comedic or it could be uh, classical or contemporary I think it is let's remember and I decided to do a dramatic and a comedy one so my two monologues were the crucible and I played what do you want Hello. Hey. You what? No, no. 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 Anyway, um, you up. What are you doing? I'm currently filming a video, so say hi. You want to speak? Uh, yeah, say hi. It's so hard to understand you because you keep breaking up. Oh my god, it's so loud. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My first monologue was from The Crucible and I played Mary Warren. My second monologue was from uh, Cinema Limbo and I played Vicky. So anyway, let me get to the audition. So October 3rd was my audition day and it was in Orlando and I felt, personally I felt like I was prepared for it and I knew my monologues really well and I honestly don't think I've ever known a monologue so well before and I'm still new to monologues. I got no sleep that night, like I had such a bad night, I was like oh god this is gonna screw me over. I put a picture of what I look like over here. I looked really good. I was wearing this dress too so I thought I'd wear it in the video. We left at about 6.45 and we weren't supposed to be there till like check-in was until 8 o'clock in the morning and but because we were afraid of getting lost or being late we thought you know it doesn't hurt to be early so make sure you're on time that's a good thing to be like honestly because if you're late it probably does ruin your chances of getting in but I got there at 7.15 and it was across from the airport um so yeah and it's better to be early than late. So if the earlier you can get there the better. I got there at 7.15 and there was no one at the table and I was like okay and so I just kind of waited. It was really warm in the bathroom but it was really cold out just in the convention center where it was and I didn't bring a cardigan so I was freezing. So we were the first one in there. We gra I, I didn't eat so I thought I need to eat so I grabbed there was like muffins, orange juice, coffee, little scones or coffee scrolls I don't know what they call them anyway I grabbed some food and I grabbed a juice and I started filling out the forms and the forms are very basic once I was done I went and gave the form to him and my headshot and then they said okay now you can just wait in there we'll be about an hour and a half I was like okay that's fine so you know I tried to stay calm, I relaxed, I wanted to you know just chill out before the audition. I was expecting more people to come but altogether there could have been about 20 people, not even 20 auditioning but 20, 20 to 30 people in the room um, and there was only three girls auditioning for acting so I was like kind of shocked about that but anyway uh, we waited and then 
eventually they came in, it was around 8.45 I think, and we watched a video and the video was really, it was long, it was about like 5 minutes long, but it was really interesting and I kind of knew some of the stuff they were showing because I've done so much research on the school and that's something that does help you. Whatever videos they have on their website and on their YouTube channel does help, so check it out more. And then they were like, okay, so first we're going to take the uh, musical theatre people and so they can practice with the pianoist or whatever you call them. And then they said, then we'll take the dance and then we'll take the acting. Eventually they called dance and then they called us and they said, just line up on the side. And I introduced myself to the two girls and they were really lovely people. They were so nice, so friendly. And we just, we just like kind of clicked really well. And that's, that's a good thing to do as well. When other people are there, talk to them, say hi, ask them what they're auditioning for, ask them what school they go to, what, what they do, blah, blah, blah. Just get to know them. The guy, this guy came in and said, she's ready for you. And I was like, okay, here we go. I walked towards the door. I put my hand on the handle. I put my hand on the handle. I took a deep breath. And then, because it says on the website, the moment you walk in the room is when your audition starts. So I was like, okay, I need to make sure I'm ready. So I take a deep breath and then I walk in. And I walk in with my head up and I say hi. And she goes, hi, how are you? And I said, I'm good, thanks, how are you? And um, I thought I was supposed to go up to her at the table, but she didn't, she was like, oh no, no, you gotta move back a bit. I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I thought I was supposed to come to the table and talk to you first, but okay. So I moved back and I was in frame for the camera because they film you for your audition. I stood there and then she was like, okay, do you know how to slate? And the guy um, told us that had a slate. This is how I slated. I said, hi, my name's Sunil Jury. I'm in Orlando, Florida. And today I will be performing two monologues, one from The Crucible and the other from Simona Limbo. But I didn't do that pause. That pause was kind of weird. Um, she basically just said, go. And it was just like, I was like, I was really happy with my audition and I'm so happy with because usually I get so nervous that I forget my monologues but I didn't forget and I couldn't believe it like that was that's probably one of my favorite performances I've ever done best time I've ever done a monologue really and I couldn't have asked for any better I said before we went in he said um, okay so if she stops you on your second monologue it's okay it doesn't mean anything she just she'll just say that she just thinks you've seen she's seen enough so I was like okay and then during the second monologue oh I felt like she was gonna stop me any moment and it, gave, it it felt like I was like rushing it. So I don't know, but I was really happy with my audition. I couldn't have done any better, I don't think. And regardless with if I get in or not, I'm so proud of myself. And yeah, I was just really happy with it. So then after I performed, I said scene because I didn't know what else to do because I paused and I said scene. And then um, she just says, oh, so you're from Melbourne, Australia, right? I said, yes, I'm from there. And then she's like, so do you live here or are you just over here for a visit? I said, oh, I live here now. And she says, you know, we have a lot of Australians at the school. I was like, really? That's so exciting. And I said that, I know that you guys do auditions down in Melbourne and Sydney. She goes, yeah, we do. And then she goes, you did so well. Thank you so much. And she gave me my like form with my, my headshot on And I was out and I was like this to the girls because I was really happy. And then after that, I had the interview. They were in the room, but I could see them. And I was like, do I go in there or do I just wait? And I was like, I'm just gonna wait. So I waited and then they eventually came out and I was like, I don't know if I was supposed to wait here or go in there. And they're like, oh no, no, we, you were supposed to wait. Um, we weren't ready for you. I was like, okay, that's fine. So then eventually they said, we're ready for you. So I was like, okay. So I followed them in there and the guy moved the chair back a bit. Kind of, I thought he was like pushing the chair out for me. So I sat down and then I moved the chair closer. And he's like, I'm sorry, can you please move back? And I was like, oh my God. I feel like I kept doing such stupid things without meaning to and I was kind of embarrassed. I said, oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to sit closer or sit further away. I just, it just naturally, I moved closer. And he's like, oh, it's fine. It's just, I, I have ugly handwriting and I don't really, I feel really uncomfortable with people saying it. I was like, yeah, I totally understand. You need your space and stuff. And the interview started and he kind of, he asked some questions off my, off the essay questions and I kind of just, basically said what I kind of wrote on the essays so so yeah and they were just very easy questions and I feel like I was really bubbly and I was really I felt like I was too over the top though like that's kind of naturally my personality 
but I didn't want to come off shy to them because that's how I am. I am shy, but I didn't want to show that. So I was trying to show that I'm confident and that I really am eager to go to this school. So I was like really bubbly and enthusiastic and that's what I tried to do. After that, I got out the room and I was really happy with how everything went. I couldn't have asked for it to go any better and I then wasn't sure if I was allowed to, to leave or if I had to stay. So the girl that went after me went, came out of it interview I said are we allowed to leave yet and she goes oh yeah yeah after the interview you can go so I was like okay but after that I went home and yeah that's really basically happened really um I was out there by like 10 o'clock so I was there by 7 15 and out by 10 so it didn't feel like that long but it was uh, one thing I forgot to mention on the tables in the uh in the place where like the waiting room let's call the waiting room they had these in there these in there and I'm interested in the Los Angeles campus so and it's just like it's like a booklet of all this stuff and information and then and then at the back it's like it's got a pocket and it has some stuff in here oh, one other thing when you when you apply and when you start the process they call you a lot the day before, or two days before my audition, they called me and they wanted to know if I had my, if they, if I had my monologues, if I had my application, my essays done, my uh, recommendation letter. I had everything, and I told them my transcript was on the way. And then the lady was like to me, "Okay, so I'm gonna rate you a five for preparedness, and that's the highest you can get." And it kind of blew me off. I was like, "Whoa! Like, thank you so much." And I'm not sure if that goes to your score or your submission process I don't know make so sure, that's one thing I suggest you to do is make sure you have everything prepared before the audition because I think that makes you look good on your behalf and shows that you're eager and prepared and really like just it shows more interest I believe in the school so, oh and another thing with the application do it over the phone because that's a way to waiver the $50 application fee so you don't have to pay for it um, so that definitely does help, especially if you are, you know, not fortunate with money. So that's something that definitely helped me. So yeah, that's really all I can say because if you have any questions about the school or the, well not really the school, more the audition process, then don't be afraid to comment below or if you don't want your comment to be seen you can personally message me I have a Twitter um, I will everything all my social medias I have a Twitter I have a Facebook like page where you can message me on there I have uh, Instagram anywhere so you know just don't hesitate to message me because I'm totally fine with answering your questions as long as I can try and help you um, I would love to so yeah if you're auditioning for AMDA Break a leg. I hope you guys do fantastic. I bet you will do great. Don't be nervous because honestly, it really is not nothing to worry about. It's totally cool. They're very friendly and yeah, have fun. That's the one thing you gotta do is enjoy it. And I enjoyed every moment of it. So um, yeah, social medias will be in the description box if you wanna contact me. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram, all that, you know, blah, blah, blah. And if you are new here and you're watching this video for the AMDA experience, um, then you should subscribe to me because that'd be really cool because I post every Saturday. Um, and yeah, I will keep you updated and let you guys know if I got in or not. So yeah, I if I don't get in, I'm auditioning again. But yeah, I'm just gonna go again because why not? You know, I really want to get into this school because I love it. It's everything that I want in a college. So, so yeah, I can't really think of what else to say, but, um, and I will see my viewers, my old viewers, my new viewers, whoever you are, next week. I have lipstick on my hand now. Bye.